Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. This is the fourth week of a message that I have given three other times. And this one is slightly different, but it, it contains that same magical, wonderful new message that I have given before. There is something on this planet that is new. It's your imprint. It's the esoteric imprint that you now have as you sit there or stand there that's different. We call it the power of life. It's new because of the enhancements of that which is the shift and also the enhancements within your own DNA that we have discussed before. This has created a human being with a greater impact on the planet than ever before. So you just standing there walking around on the planet has far, a far greater esoteric, spiritual, beautiful impact and potential than it's ever had before. Combine this with something else. There is something, the energy of the light that you carry now is much different than 20 years ago. Because the light itself has been enhanced. Now this is a metaphor for an enhancement of all that you can then expose with light. An awakening, you might say. But it also has to do with that which we've spoken of before, being a lighthouse. In other words, you being on the planet right now, alive. You with this light that you have right now, as an old soul, you become a way shower. But not just for others. We've spoken of your impact for yourself and what you can do. We've spoken of the impact that you have of Gaia itself. We've spoken of, of your mastery. This has many elements to it. This enhanced life force, you might say. Can you imagine this? That the old souls of this planet suddenly have a greater impact on the planet than ever before. This then will give credibility to what I said many years ago, that less than one half of 1% of this Earth's population has to awaken in order to change the planet completely. And that's because those who are awakening have a greater impact. And what happens next is they shine more light for the others. It's no greater metaphor than that. And we have said this before. You take a dark room where you can barely see. And one or two light a match. And the room becomes a little more illuminated. And others will say, where did the light come from? Oh, I see they have a match. How can I have a match? And so they realize that they can and they find out how, and they start to light their own, and then the room becomes far, far more lighted, more lit. Only a few have to light their matches for the entire group in the room to see. And that is what's happening on this planet. Attitudes are changing. Did you notice? We also have said it now three other times. The dark is darker, the light is lighter. And you're starting to see the reaction to the light that you've been creating. I want to tell you one of the things that you can do that fits in right now with everything that this particular program is about. What if this new power of life and this new enhanced energy of light, what if this then changed your abilities within yourself, within your cellular structure to heal yourself. 
What if this, this final program of this series, and I've waited till the last for the best, wraps itself up with everything I have taught for 31 years, for 32 years, for 33 years, on and on. What if it's about talking to your cellular structure with your own consciousness and being able to heal yourself? What if this was the final revelation of that? And when I say final, I mean that it wraps it up into a package of what I meant back then when I started talking to, to, to so many about how you could heal yourselves by actually speaking to your own cellular structure with your own consciousness and being the boss. Here it is. Here is the moment that I've waited for to give you this information. Now you know why. You can. This particular life force lends itself specifically to this self-healing. Where you can look at your own structure, your own life, and you can look inside and you can say to all the chemistry, you're not apart from me, you are me. Your consciousness, something apart from your brain, has a divine aspect to it. Your consciousness has a divinity to it. Your consciousness is not been, has not been developed from the synapse of memories in your brain. Oh, it's greater than that. This comes right from your soul, dear ones. This can be argued even in medical circles. Can enough circuits of synapse in your brain create a consciousness? It's been argued for years. The reason it's argued because even those in medical will look at it and go, no, it's beyond that. Consciousness is divine. It's that which lets you decide what you want to be, who you want to be, what you want your light to be or not to be. Now I'm telling you that that consciousness is being seen by your chemistry as the boss. And when you start addressing your chemistry in positive ways as the boss, a beloved boss, a wonderful boss, <laughs> one who cares about every molecule, but that says, here's what I want. Here's what you're doing. Here's what we will do together. That means you control your life's health your life's healing. That means you control the reality that you would call your health every single day. But you have to let your cellular structure know you're there, dear ones, because it's always waiting for instructions. And we've told you that before. So all the chemistry in your body has antennas, you might say, waiting for your words. If you don't speak them, this body of yours will simply go on its own, do its best on its own without any instructions at all. Disease is part of that. But you can be the solution by speaking every single day to your cellular structure and telling it what's next and what you want. Just as you might give marching orders to an army, which direction to go and how to behave. And that is the greatest truth I would ever have for you, human being, that I've ever given. It'll extend your life. It'll create wonderful recovery to anything that perhaps you're experiencing right now that you think might be negative. It allows you to turn around things you didn't think could be turned around. Situations that you thought were one way and were not. Great healing is yours right now. 
What can I say to you that would be any grander than that? You have a new life force. It's enhanced. Do you feel it? Did you think perhaps something was up, as they say? There is a difference in you. You're not imagining it. Many of you have asked that. What do I feel that is different? What am I missing? Some of you have said. It's a human nature also to say what's wrong <laughs> when you feel something different. Nothing is wrong. You're starting to feel the enhancement that is your legacy to be here. You deserve to be here. You deserve to be healthy and live a lot longer than some have told you you will. This is a beautiful time, a beautiful time of, of introspection, realization. It also means that your prayers for others do more than ever before. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about those who need you right now on this planet who are suffering? Or perhaps the grief that might be there from all the things that are taking place right now. You can enhance that with your compassionate action. This group I'm talking to now is so powerful. So powerful. Take a moment and do that as well. And feel that energy go to those, those faraway lands perhaps. Or maybe they're not far away. Maybe you're sitting right in them. You can do so much more today than you've ever done before. Oh, enhanced human being with greater life force and light to light this planet up and create peace for others, for yourself, for your partnership with Gaia, for your own healing. I'm crying. I would not tell you these things if they were not so. And we have told you these things so many times before, but now you realize why. I'm crying in love with human. Every human. I know all of you who are watching and listening. I know you. Because I stand on the other side of the veil with your souls right now. I know you. So intimately. I know those who will take action and those who are still scratching their head wondering if any of this is really true. It's all true, dear ones. Give it a try. You might make the statement. I am larger than I thought I was in the energy of divineness on this planet. And therefore, I can do things that I was never told I could do. I am ready. In love with humanity, I am. And so it is.